Here we are in Puerto Rico just walking along and I happen to see, wait a second, there's a sign and it seems like it's talking about ice cream. So let's see what it means with Google Image Translate. So let me quickly show you how to use super useful Google Translate image function where you can just hold up your camera and things translate like that. Boom, let's work some magic. So if you open up Google Translate on your phone, head over to this camera icon, you will open up Google Lens. Note, it's only for mobile devices, not on desktop. It'll then open up your camera and start to translate on the spot any text that it sees. In this case, how to find an exclusive flavor of ice cream, essential information. Now to copy the text, if you hit this camera looking shutter button here in the middle, it'll select the text from there, you can listen, find this here exclusive flavor Pinta Espresso Lab, or send to Translation Home. It'll copy what you just found and send it to Google Translate to easily copy or save for later. Continuing our walk around Puerto Rico, happened to run across these books on the street. So let's open up Google Lens, head over to the sign here and see what's the deal with the books. Notice it'll start to translate everything here and the translation is not perfect. However, it's enough to know that the books are free. You can take one if you'd like to, and they only ask you to keep the area clean and organized. Sounds good to me. So Google Lens Image Translator works with text, but what about anything handwritten? This I was actually doubtful. So let's see how it does. Have it set to Spanish, working its magic and well look at that google lens can handle handwritten notes this one was a surprise for me but handy to have in case you don't have anything printed so another handy feature is not just using the live on the spot translation but you can load an image that you've already taken handwritten or text and google Lens Image Translator can translate it for you and select the text or send it to the translator as well so you can easily copy it yourself. So another really useful real world application of this could be anything printed, a flyer or a handout. In this case, let's take a look at a menu. I certainly have been places before and let's just say no translation was available and it was on me to figure it out. So if you ever find yourself in that situation, either here or abroad, this can really come in handy. So let's see how Google Image translates this menu. First tip, it is going to go bananas if you try to translate this much text at the same time. Oh my, already getting confusing. So instead, I would recommend zoom in to one section and have it handle less text at one time and notice actually it did not a bad job at translating these items from Chinese into English. Now if you want to take a picture of the translations if you push this little shutter looking button it will select the text it doesn't actually take a picture you, if you want to do that you'd have to take a screenshot of your screen but what you can do is either send it to Google Translate everything that's selected right now or select text and then just highlight a piece that you want to and copy from there. And now the car not be passing along. Impossible hablar en esta calle, Dios mío, mira. Oh my god, okay, have a moment. No cars for five seconds. So let me quickly show you how to use the super useful Google Translate image function where you can just hold up your camera and things translate so like that. Boom, let's work some magic. So can you see how something like this could really come in handy? How do you see yourself using Google Image Translate? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and stick around for all things language learning related, especially making languages more fun, because that's the point, right? So happy language learning and catch you soon.